you play to make sure you, you get the best seat you possibly can. Obviously, we'd like to have the bye, but that, that's done with. We've got home ice. Uh, we've played well on home ice. We've played very well in the last six games. So um, I think we're as prepared as we can be in playing a, as well as we possibly could be at this time. So it, uh, now there's, uh, um, you know, you, get, you, have to, you have to win two games to advance. And uh, that's, guys get excited about this. And the neat thing is for us, uh, we've never played a series before. So this will be the first series we've played as a, as a program. And it'll be exciting for us to, to try to try to advance to the next round. How big is it to be here and hopefully have another good crowd like you guys did last week? We've had great crowds. Um, our crowds have been tremendous all year long. And uh, you know, they say there was only 700 people here on, on Friday night, but the crowd was loud. And, and uh, I think there were a lot more than that, actually. And, and uh, you know, I think we just need to come out and we need to play hard. And we need to do what we do. And uh, if we do, if we play as well as we've been playing, as hard as we've been playing, I, I like our chances. We just need to make sure we go out and we're ready to play and, and ready to compete. What do you know about AIC? Is there anything in our game that you've been focusing on this week? Well, we played them early in the year, and uh, obviously uh, both games were 2 nothing. They won one, we won one, and, and uh, their goaltender was very good both nights. And uh, we got to make sure we get pucks to the net. Traffic around Ben Meisner, they've got some opportunistic forwards that have had very good years. And, Archibald and plus Kanich and, and Penny and they've got some very good hockey players so we need to we need to play with as much uh, passion and as much intensity as we did uh, against Mercy or Star AT and Air Force and and just because they were a 10th place team doesn't mean that you can take nights off because you know that they're gonna, they're a good hockey team and they've played very well down the stretch as well so it's uh, it's going to be two good hockey teams playing uh, well come playoff time and whoever uh, plays well and advances and and uh, if they come into our building and, and uh, win two games and, and beat us in a series, hats off to them. But uh, I like our hockey team and I like our chances and I like the way we've been playing. And we just need to keep playing that way. Growing beard? Uh, playoff goatee. <laughs> yeah. So we just have to, I know I told our guys that hopefully we'll be playing for a long time where we can, can grow them out for a little bit. So. What's the family think about the goatee? Uh, they haven't seen it yet today. <laughs> it was uh, done this morning, so the kids haven't. Uh, seen it yet and in a couple weeks I want it to be gone, trust me. Yeah. About what? About the booster club. So okay. I'll do that. Okay. Um, how did the idea for the booster club come about? Well it's something that we've been talking about as a as a program for a while with some of our boosters and, and uh, the staff. And I think with having a, a very loyal fan base that we've started to, to get um, I think it's a great time to start it. We had, we've had big crowds this year, our two largest crowds ever in the Island Sports Center, and, and to, to get our biggest crowd down at Consol Energy Center. And, um, just a, a way to get uh, the organization uh, um, more support from the community in, a, in a, a form setting, to be able to do booster club functions like escape at the Colonials, a bowling night, um, be able to get uh, more people behind the program and, and spread the word of colonial hockey. It's a, it's a, it's a great thing, and it's uh, I, I, I commend our our uh, fundraising, our, our public relations people, and our administration for allowing us to to set up a, an organization that would be uh, uh, primarily uh, sponsorship, uh, both emotionally, mentally, and financially of our hockey program. And then you mentioned emotionally, financially.